to welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with this just simply come back over here and just simply activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what you need to do just simply come back over here click on the task number two just simply scroll down and here you can see from the point number five this region for now this region is static but in future they might make it dynamic so basically what you need to do just simply copy this region like this way come back over here do not worry about this command i will share all the command in the description box now just simply paste region over here now just simply copy all this command like this way and make sure that you have to copy this full stop as well now just simply copy like this just simply paste hit enter wait for a second and then click on authorize now what you have to do just simply search for the uptime checks open this thing new tab come back over here now click on create uptime check now here you can see host name for that first of all just simply come back to the lab instruction copy your project id and just simply paste over here okay now just simply click on the task number six scroll down and from the here you can see host name just simply copy this thing carefully like this way and here you can see project id just simply paste over here it must look like this if it's so then click on this path and just simply type forward slash like this way so you have done with target portion now click on this continue click on this continue now i request you please pay attention for the alert basically what you have to do for the alert you can see for the alert you can see we have to just simply change the name so just simply copy this name like this way do not copy this last full stop just copy like this make the changes like this now click on this notification channel then click on manage now just simply copy your username come back over here wait for a second and here you can see email just simply click on this add email like this just simply paste and for the display name just simply type quick lab and then click on save it's done now just simply switch back over here click on this refresh button and then click over here and just simply choose your email click on ok now click on continue now for the review title name just simply scroll up copy this name carefully like this way paste over here and then click on create And it's done. Now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Just simply wait and watch. And as you can see, we got a score. Now for the task number two and task number three, basically if you just simply come back to the dashboard, you can see this thing is still running. So wait until this task get complete and once it's done, we are done with this lab.
and it's finally done now if we just simply come back over here and click on this check my progress and this check my progress we will get a score without any issue and one more thing guys for you if this score is not updated no need to worry just simply search for the app engine over here open this thing in new tab sorry for this just simply open this thing new tab come back over here click on this dashboard and just simply open this link okay and if you are getting this output that means your application is running without any issue but lab take time to update the score so no need to worry about that just wait for a couple of more minutes and you will get a score for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys